Hey y'all, this is Jordan, and today I wanted to teach you guys a very simple tutorial on how to get kind of a indie dance groove going. This kind of deals with a little bit of phasing from the echo, a little a bit of phasing from the alligator, and some peak removal techniques, but if you can grab a easy rex loop, and I'll play this for you in a minute, of how the loop sounds. I'll show you how to create something out of this, like a, a new drum loop out of this using this technique. So take a listen to the original drum loop. Now out of this I thought, well this is a kind of a cool funky beat and it's actually BSQ, Erratic Sun Beat. It's about 90 BPM. Um, I found this to be kind of funky and so I started playing with a few notes and I thought, well if this has a chorus on it, it could sound even more funky. So I started playing with uh, ideas in my head and I came up with this beat. It's really powerful even though it's only three major, three to four notes. And uh, there's so much you can do by just playing a few notes back and forth. You can get kind of like a daft punk beat out of this and I'm going to show you how to okay. So it's really easy, we don't have to use the same drum loop as we did for the example, but I will still show you how to create this technique. I'm going to start off with a blank instance of a combinator and I'm going to open up my Dr. Octo Rex loop player. I'm just going to select the first slot and hit the browse loops. Now I'll show you where I am. I'm going to my Dr. Drum loops. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go to Bomb Squad, hit Beats, and let's find a very eclectic drum sound. Yeah, that big wood beat, that sounds uh, very, very vile and distorted. So let's see how the drum sample runs at this BPM, it's at 120. Very dirty, very chunky, so let's start playing a few notes on the keyboard to see where we are. So now that we have a kind of a funky loop in our heads, I'm going to attach an RV7000 advanced reverb and I'm going to bring both of these knobs down to a low volume. So for my dry wet, that's at 19 and my decay is at 12. Again, we just want to compress this. So I'm going to attach a line 6 bass amp, turn on the compressor, and bring the threshold to about 67 to give it a more uh, funky punch. So it gives it a little bit more depth. Now to give some of that more phasing effect, I'm going to create the echo. And the preset we're going to use is called, I think it's called a short round. Yes, here we go, right after cycle delirium. It's quite a big jump. I'm going to take my dry wet all the way to probably about 50%. And after this, I'm going to create Alligator. This will kind of give it more of a 
organic type of phasing. So I'm in the patches preset bank and I'm going to choose my phaser, open gate. This will give it uh, more depth into the phasing. And then a little bit more punch too. Without that, it would be a little bit less. It would still be doubled, although it would not give it that more punch. See? So after this, I'm just going to tidy things up. So I'm going to create a line 6 base amp just to compress it again. And I'm going to go to my studio effects and create an M class equalizer. Turn on low cut, parameter 1, gain. Let's set the frequency to 929 hertz. Push the gain all the way down, the Q all the way up, because we just want to remove that frequency and uh, not drag any other frequencies with it. So for my second parameter, I'm just going to turn it on and I'll set it to 8,000. Should be a repetitive number, but it's like 8. 8944 kilohertz, bring the gain all the way down, Q all the way up. After this, create an M class maximizer. Take it off limiter, put release to auto, turn on soft clip, and for the amount, make it 127. So we want to give it that nice uh, vintage feel to the sound. So when it starts to punch and when it starts to get a little bit more rowdy, I guess you can turn down the volume on the phaser for the alligator's open gate. But I really, really like that punchiness, so I'll leave it in. But that's how you can kind of create more of an indie dance type of rhythm. And you can do this with any loop. That's the great thing about Reason. So I Check you guys out tomorrow for a growl tutorial. Stay tuned.